I got the vehicle I'm going to review. Like I said, y'all already know. But, uh, hey, I, want, I will tell you this. I didn't get down on the car or nothing like that because I want y'all to see my response. And I'll let, like, my real response. So I don't know what the car do or none of that. Um, but I will say, for some reason, this Mustang, I'm not a complete fan of the look of it. Now, it was a 2018 that I reviewed a while ago. I like that one. That one looked good and everything. But um, this one right here, I'm just not a fan of the look of it. I don't know. But I guess we'll see, man. Let's get into the review, man. Yes, sir. So, boom. We got this 2019 Mustang GT. GT thing, man. Um, Let's start off with the front. Now, I do like the front of the Mustangs. They do look mean. I like that. I like that whole look. I like that. Um, that grill just that grill just look mean to me. Forest Lane CDJR, man. Y'all make sure y'all hit them up. Holla at Rico, man. He'll point you in the right direction to the dealer. I'm looking at the fog lights right now. Fog lights right here. Um, I like the... I like the... Headlight. I like the headlight setup on the Mustang. I always like the headlight setup on the Mustangs. I always like that. 
Um, the hood is, uh, I don't know. It's all right. I don't like this. The hood scoops way on the end of the car, but that's my opinion about it. Um, Pirelli tires, man. These tires are 235, 50, 18. 18-inch wheels. I don't too much like those wheels either. That may be part of the reason I don't, what I really don't like about this look of this car. Not saying I don't like the Mustang because I do. But this one, I just don't like those wheels. Um, the silver is hard. I like the silver, 5.0 on the side. Of course, y'all see what it is, 5.0, yes, sir. Yes, sir. GT, y'all see it at the back. Now, I don't like this back. It has that little bitty spoiler. I like the ones with the bigger spoiler. I like the one with the bigger spoiler. It got quad tips on it. The reverse light is at the bottom down here. Kind of, kind of already have a diffuser type look. You know what I mean? Kind of already have a diffuser type look. Um, while I'm back here, I've never popped the trunk on a Mustang. Do you guys have a button back here where you can pop the trunk, or you have to do it from the inside? I don't see a button. I'm guessing you got to do it from the inside. I don't see a button. Got the reverse camera, of course. Those are the sensors. If y'all didn't know what that was, those are the sensors. Yeah, man, but it's just a, a walk around look of it. It's a walk around look. I mean, it's okay. It's okay. Not saying, like I said, not saying I don't like the Mustang. I'm just not a fan of this one, this particular one. That's all, oh, man. Just not a fan of this particular one. But like I say, this is a 2019. Let me show y'all a little bit about the car. 2019 Ford Mustang GT Premium. Premium is a, a mixture of the uh, performance and the eco type. It's just, that's all it is. It's just you getting, they kind of mix together some of the, the uh, uh, what you get in, in this vehicle. So, give y'all a rundown. Y'all know how to do it probably to any moment, man. It has 26,000 miles on it. 5.0 liter V8, y'all already know that. But uh, let's pop the, let's pop the hood. Well, it kinda got a little, little skirt on the side, a little side, you know, you know. But y'all know, I'm the Mustang warmed me over when I drove that 2018. It warmed me over, so I'm kinda, kinda type fan of the Mustang. Uh, big Brembo, well, I don't know if these Brembo's or not, to be honest with you, I'm not gonna lie to you, but it's designed like Brembo's, like most brakes are, but they don't say Brembo on. But this is six pistons in the front, and you got four pistons in the back. So, and I noticed that when I drove the car over, I was like, man, this car kind of stopped on the dime. Like, so I kind of figured it was Brem it was a uh, six piston brakes up here. You know what I mean? But um, let's open the door. Of course, this is a convertible, of course. You got Mustang right here on the door right here. Of course, it's a two-door car. One thing I don't like about two-door cars, man, you gotta be careful when you open these open these doors. These doors come all the way out. You will hit the car next to you. <laughs> um, this sound system do sound sound good. Um, let's move this. The regular mats in here. Of course, I got my mask, you know what I mean? A little the directions to my new little deal I had to buy. You know, I know I left the other one. Actually, I didn't buy it. I got that from Auto Sound. They gave it to me to test it out. Um, that is very good. I just want to put that in here. Y'all go to Auto Sound, man, the speaker shop where I get my uh, speaker stuff done that I'm always talking about. They sell it for like twenty five dollars, man. It's good. It ain't nothing but a little magnet on the back of my 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 holder. It connects to that. That's that's a magnet, and the part that's on the back of my camera is also a magnet. But um, another thing, man. Where? How do I? Right here. That's how you lit it up. Boom. There's no space back there. Ain't nobody going back there. That's one thing I don't like about Mustang. If you might well just took this back seat out and just say, you know what I'm saying, say that weight. You know what I mean? Just, because ain't nobody going back there. You can't put no kid back there. You can't put a kid back there. Like, it's no, it look, it's no room. No room back here. And this seat is sitting up. Look how it's dying. Like, that seat is straight up. It's not even tilted back. Mine is tilted back over there. Mine is tilted back, but this passenger seat is straight up, and there's no room. Let's try to lift this up, see what type of room you get. It's coming. It's coming. Just hold on. It's coming, people. Okay. You get a little room. 
you get a little room with this all the way up. So if you let this back zoom, tilt that back, no room. And then up here, now your knees is on this. It's just smiling here, man. It's real smiling here. But you got to know what you're buying. You're buying a, a coupe, muscle car. You don't need that. That ain't why you're buying it. You know what I mean? Cup holders. Uh, we'll talk about all the radio and all in a minute. Mustang right here. Yes, sir. Like I said, it's smiling here. Convertible thing. You understand me? Yes, sir. Boom. Close that door like so. I be rhyming, boy. You got an antenna on the 2019. Boy, I ain't seen that in how long. Wow. Antenna on the 2019. But, of course, leather. You know, leather. Got your door locks right here. Windows right here. Um, steering wheel's all right. I'm not a big fan of the steering wheel. It's all right. Mustang on that radio right there. Y'all see it? Yes, sir. But uh, we're going to start it up. Let's start it up. See what it sounds like. Hold on. Before we do that, let me pop the trunk from the key. Okay. I popped the trunk from the key. I got to show y'all the trunk space. It's not part of the car. Oh, my God. Okay. This is a very tight space. Kind of goes kind of far back a little bit, but it's very tight. I don't know what this is. Oh, we got a spur. Yes, sir. Got a spur down there. But that trunk is small, of course, as you would expect. Close it. And let's start it. Once again, interrupting me. Interrupting me. Now, on the Mustangs, I think you got to lock the door. Now, on Chargers and Mopars, you don't have to lock the door. When you hit the automatic start, the door is locked by itself and it starts up. If your door is not locked, it's going to lock by itself and it starts up. But on this car, you got to hit the lock button first. Make sure the car locked. And then you hit this two times. And it should start. Or you hold it. I don't know. I ain't never knew how to automatic start these cars. But this one ain't doing it. Look. Hit the lock. Hit the lock. Boom. Oh, that's the trunk. Oh, my God. This is bad, y'all. I ain't never automatic started no Mustang. <laughs> Oh, we're gonna try this again. I'm gonna try to hold it. That ain't it. Hit it two times and hold it. That ain't it. Hit the unlock. I'm gonna lock it back. Now I'm gonna try this again. That's terrible. That's terrible. Come on now. Uh oh, I heard something. What? Sound like it's trying. I heard. Bruh. Come on, man. It's locked. So how do you? I'm pretty sure y'all Mustang owners in the comment laughing or y'all probably putting all you gotta do is do this. But I don't know. It ain't automatic starting. I just started up. On the inside, come out here and let's out here to exhaust. Let's start her up. I kind of quiet. It's kind of quiet. But I'm about to sit it down so y'all can hear it. All the way under for y'all, man. That don't sound like a whole part of me. It look, it look nice. It look like it's finna talk a lot. It look like it's finna talk real loud. Nah, nah. But I will. Oh, let me get in the vehicle, man. Let's get in the vehicle. Y'all see the bag, yes sir. Let's get in the vehicle. I'll come back to that. Now this one don't have. No key detected. Uh oh. Look, I did it again. I left the key out here. Man, I'm tripping, tripping, bro. Look, I left the key out here. Boom. 
Boom. So, okay. Um, where is the AC? How do I turn the AC down? Like, low. That's on low. Boom. You do it right here. Fan speed. I'm going to turn it down right quick. Uh, make sure you don't interfere with the sound. But, um, this one don't have the exhaust where you can change the exhaust. Now, in 2018 had one where you could change the exhaust. They had a button right here. You can go up and down and change the sound of the exhaust. Let me see if that's on here. Go to settings, gauge mode. That's track apps. Uh, let's go to settings. Vehicle settings. Look at that, remote start. Oh, no, nah, let's go back. Let's go back. Wipers, windows, remote start, oil life locks. Go back, go back. Let's go to track apps. What is this? Status screen. What's status screen? Acceleration time or brake performance, line lock. So you do have line lock on here. Um... I guess it showed the times and I, yeah, show your times. I'm gonna put a hundred. But yeah, you just roll through that, man, and play with that a little bit. Gauge mode. Now let's get out of that. Man, go back to the, go back to the regular, the regular degla, man. Show my speed, man. I don't even know how to get to that. Oh, well. But anyway, you got the little touchscreen radio. Like I said, it sounds nice. You got all these options right here. You know what I mean? Uh, audio, climate, phone, and you got more apps. Connect device, find mobile apps, and all this in there. You got the AC and all this stuff right here. Like I said, this is the traction on, traction off, up and down, turn it on. This is the steering wheel for a normal or sport or comfort. You can change that. And this is the drive modes. You can put it in. If I hit that up, it's in track mode. I hit it down. Hold on. So it don't go down. You just got to keep hitting it up. Drag strip. Snow. Wet. You can keep going. We're going to put it in. We're going to have it in normal first. We're going to have it in normal when I drive it. But you got your lights and all this right here, man. Like I said, it's smiling here. I'm going to be all the way 100 with y'all. It's smiling. But, uh, yes, sir. Uh, garage is open up right here this girl thing is i don't know it's all right I ain't, I ain't a fan of that either i'm so not a fan of this small space you still got all your connectors in there but uh yeah man so of course you got your brake right here parking brake up down who uses that i don't ha huh? yes yeah, sir man we're gonna drive this car um what i was gonna say um the mustang to me you do the you get the exhaust done the mustang is one of the best sounding cars like i i ain't taking that away from them. these cars sound amazing once you get the exhaust done right i didn't hear something don't sound good and i heard something do sound good but these sound amazing if you get that exhaust done right but uh yeah so we're gonna go and drive and see what it do but y'all know me man i'm not just regular you know what i mean i don't just do it like that so we gonna we gonna let this down right here twist that you know, like so Okay, okay, twist that, and then we're going to let the top back here straight like that. Come on, go back. Oh, I got to keep holding. Hey, y'all know me, man. We can't, we can't, we can't play with the, come on, man. Why me in a convertible? Now I'm going to turn the AC back up on y'all. Where that AC? Turn that AC back up. Yeah, <laughs> y'all probably like, boy, this boy backwards. You understand me? But we finna drive this thing, see what it do. Listen, bro, how do I not show you up under the hood of this car? Like, how did I forget to do that? Let me show you up under the hood. Then we're gonna drive. I'm tripping, man. So this is up under the hood of the Mustang, man. 5.0 liter. Y'all knew that. Uh, why it still got this right here? I don't know. 
But come on, man, it's 2020, man. We ain't gonna be having it. But I do like they got the uh, engine bar, strut bar, whatever you call it. The uh, thing over the engine for a better uh, balancing, turning. It's a reason for that, man. And I knew what it was. I just forgot. I keep getting it mixed up because the one that goes in the trunk is for better turning and angling and all this and this. So I don't know what this one's for. I just, this is what I call it. This is the engine seat belt. You know what I mean? It keeps the engine protected. The engine ain't going over. I call it the seat belt. You understand me? That's what I call it. That's what I always call it. This is the engine seat belt. So the engine, you know what I'm saying? Click of the ticket. Got his little seat belt on. You understand me? But it looks nice up under it. Yeah, man. 5.0. We're going to go and let this down. They got it clean. We're going to go and let this down, man. Get down to the drive, man. I can tell y'all right now what I'm not finna like about this drive or this car that this camera is finna be shaking. I gotta go buy me another real deal, holy field, you understand me? But like I say, we got in regular mode right now. Let me let the steering wheel look. That must have been a baby driving this car. Golly. Where you let it up at? Oh, right here. Dang, it must have been a baby in here. Yeah, but we're gonna see what this thing do. This old Mustang GT, man. You understand me? See, this thing gonna be shaking. I ain't gonna like this at all. Let me get, well, I guess I gotta let the steering wheel down to get that out your way. You know what I mean? Y'all can see a little bit of it. Not a lot. Come on, man, let me go in this FedEx truck. Man, you finna turn the same way I'm trying to go. Bro, you better drive fast. You better drive fast. You better drive fast. Oh, he got out of the way. See, this thing gonna be shaking, bro. Um, another thing. I was, I'm not putting the pedal box on her today. Because my pedal box for this vehicle hadn't came in yet. But when it do, I already got a partner that's gonna let me use his GT Mustang. We're gonna put the pedal box on it gonna show y'all what that thing do um but i can't say too much how about how it ride it ride like any other car i guess any other muscle car it actually feels it actually uh don't feel too bad can't sit my arm out here because it's hot boy i'm only doing this for y'all y'all gotta understand bro i be out here sweating man like sweating profusely you understand me it be hot out here, y'all gotta, you know what I'm saying? It ain't easy doing this stuff, I'm telling you now. And I got a whole nother car to do after this, and it's hot. Quick little, quick little giddy up right quick. That was light, that wasn't even no, just no extreme pull. You know what I mean? I'm gonna give y'all extreme pull in a minute. But uh, that was light. See, if I was in that scat pack right now, Scat Pack 392, any of that, something that compared to this type of power, I would have felt it a little more. Okay, here we go. I apologize for it. I, I'm sorry. I ain't mean to talk that. You know, look this lady back here. Boy, y'all females here doing the drop top. Y'all go crazy. <laughs> this in sport right now but i ain't feeling it we're gonna go and put this in sport right now nah yeah we're gonna go and put this in sport right now that ain't what's up that little that little stuff that right there was nuts you understand me sport better show me something you better show me something in this sport huh Get past this little hump. Show me something in this sport. I ain't impressed yet. Oh, oh, okay, okay, <laughs> okay. Say, bro, y'all gotta excuse me. Y'all excuse me, man. Uh, I'm used to driving with the pedal box. So with the pedal box, bro, you don't have to push your gas hard to get power. All you do is tap that gas and that car go. 
So that's kind of what I'm used to. So I just wasn't pushing the gas hard enough. But this car definitely got a little, got a little, uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, all they need is a little exhaust work. That's all they need is just a little exhaust work and it'll, it'll sound crazy, sound monstrous. Yeah, I got top down. Why y'all looking at me like that? Huh? Y'all looking at me like I'm crazy. You understand me? I got the top down, you know what I'm saying? I really, you understand me feeling, feeling myself, you know? Yes, sir. Oh, I like the way these girls shift though. These girls shift good. I feel that. That's, that explains why them, them Mustang down shifts be so loud and so crazy. Kind of like the Camaro. The Camaro and this Mustang, they down shifts are more aggressive than Mopars are. I will say that. They down shifts are more aggressive. That's something I do notice. They downshift are just naturally aggressive. Mopar, for a get a crazy downshift, man, you gotta have it in manual mode. You gotta have it in manual, you gotta be downshifting yourself. But this car, man, it's, the downshift is, is on its own, it's just there. But all in all, man, I, I mean, like I said, I like the Mustang. I like the Mustang. When I drove it the first time, I liked it, it got power. You know what I mean? It's a smaller car, it's lower to the ground, so it, it handled better than uh, the bigger muscle cars. So, yeah, man. I like it, I like this Mustang. I don't like this one, I don't like the look. I don't like the look of this one, but overall, I like it. But I'm really, I'm finna really tell y'all if I like it. I'm finna hit it on this stretch. Matter of fact, I'm, ooh, that shift is hard, bro. I'm putting it in track mode so I can get the full effect. That shift is hard. This car shifts hard. I like this shift. But, uh, we're, we're gonna hit it right here. I gotta hit it on this little stretch. Make sure ain't no, ain't no popo around here. Where the 12 at? Where the 12 at? We don't care. Told you that damn shift is a fool, bro. Bro, that was a down shift. It down shifted in. I don't know what girl I was in. But when it down shifted in, y'all heard the tire skirt. <laughs> Say, that's crazy. Oh yeah, this that's impressive right there. That's very impressive. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I can't even lie to you. That's impressive. Oh, another damn shift. Come on, give me all that then. Give me all that. I do it myself. I need pedal shift to Oh. Oh. Pull up on me on a 40 roll. I'm blowing those off for you. I'm telling you right now. But let me down shift. Another thing, man. There's a 10 speed, first of all. 10 speed. Bro, what is you doing? Fam. Get out the way, bro. Oh my god, bro. You like tripping. She tripping. You can't do that, Miss Lady. Right, this is a 10 speed car. I just want to say that this car got 10 gears, man. So, oh, um, that makes a hell of a difference. Oh, shoot, I, I love them downstairs, bro. That's crazy. I like that. I like that. 
likes that. I likes that. I likes this. Y'all, come on, man. I gotta hit a U-turn. I'm gonna take it off. Uh, I'm gonna put it in regular settings. Let it shift on its own. You hear me? Y'all let me go, man. Oh, I should have did it, bro. I should have just whipped this thing. I ain't used to the Mustang, so I ain't gonna just whip it like that. If it, was a, if it was my car, I'd whip that thing right around the U-turn, but I ain't, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of cars coming. I ain't gonna do it on, on this car. I don't too much know. I don't too much know this car. But we, we're gonna give it a little, we're gonna give it a little play just to see type of, Type of type of action this car got. We're gonna give it a little play. Traction on too, boy. God dang. That's it. I'm impressed. Say man, this uh, this I forgot to tell you, this car is 460 horses. So it's similar to the scat pack, but think about it, this car is lighter than the scat pack, so it kind of equal out. Scat pack 485, but it's heavier, so that's why it's always a good race. You know what I'm saying with these cars because the weight different. It's a horsepower different, but it's a weight different at the same time. So um, yes sir, I'm pulling back up to the. I'm gonna pull back up to the dealership. I'm gonna let this top up before I get there. You know what I mean? Let this top up before I get there because I don't want them to think, oh, yeah, I heard playing because they know what I'm doing, but still, I'm gonna let it up before I get there, man. Yes, sir. Let me hit that turn, but say, man, yeah, bro, that's gonna be a wrap for this video, man. I appreciate y'all watching. Make sure y'all like, share, comment, subscribe, and browse. We're going up our 2020, man. Um, yes, sir. Uh, what we gonna turn in it? We're gonna turn in right. Now nah, I'm gonna go down this way. I'm gonna go down this road and I'm gonna come back. But yeah, man, y'all make sure y'all like, share, comment, and subscribe, and browse, man. We're going up all 2020. And I do mean all 2020. Ain't no stopping. Um, like, share, comment, all the good stuff. I, I like to repeat that because y'all don't get it. Y'all don't understand. Like the video, man. Like it, share it, all the good stuff. But yo, man, that's going to be a wrap. Appreciate y'all watching, man. Y'all know I ain't not my videos. In the meantime, between times, this video, how you want, man? Yes, sir.